At 10 a.m. Wednesday, a barrage of rockets fell on Kiryat Shmona, Naharia, Safed, Tiberius, Yesod Amala, and other towns. Within one hour, 70 rockets hit the north. Until the afternoon, there was one dead and 19 wounded. One of them, a woman from Safed whose condition worsened, was taken to Rambam Hospital in Haifa. In the streets, tens of cars, power lines, and houses were damaged, like here in Yesod Amala. In Rosh Pina, it was the council chairman, Aviu Ruski, that was the first in his town to have his house hit. The few that have stayed in Kiryat Shmona were forced again and again to report on damages. <laughs> Minutes before this barrage, a convoy of buses with 1,000 people on board left Kiryat Shmona far away from the danger area to Eilat. No, no. Whilst people were boarding the buses, the warning of another barrage on the way came, and they weren't wrong. <laughs> For the first time, sirens were heard in Bet Shean. Minutes later, the reason became clear. Hezbollah launched rockets towards Afula and Bet Shean, but it fell of all places near Jenin. In the afternoon, another long-range missile was fired at Afula. The pieces scattered all over the Jezreel Valley. In this incident, there were no wounded reported. I don't think it's right to say exactly what is the fact that the fire was in the area of Gilboa, but I can tell you in the area, firefighters dealt with the tens of fires. After two days of relative quiet, a new record of missile barrage was reported. On the day that started the third week of fighting, the end doesn't seem in sight.